Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in Fortnite Chapter 6. I hope this guide helps you out. It will help you to fix all of your FPS drops, network issues, stuttering, input delay, and a lot more. So stick around till the end of this video. And with all that said, let's get started with the video. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that head over to settings on your PC and once you're here go down to gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. Game bar turned off will help you to save your system resources as it consumes them in the background and most of the time you're not even using that. Go back to gaming, head over to game mode and you're gonna have to turn this thing on. Game mode turned on will optimize your PC by turning things and notifications off in the background, helping you to get a smoother, disturbance-free gameplay. Right beneath that, you'll find a little graphic settings over here. Simply click on the change your default graphic settings and then you'll find hardware, accepted GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for window games. You're gonna have to turn both of them on as it will help you to reduce your input latency and it will also help you to use advanced features to utilize your GPU to render the game. After that, go back to graphics and here you'll find a list of your applications. You're gonna have to click on the browse button over here and then go to the download location of Fortnite. Open up the Fortnite game folder, head over to binaries, win64 and you'll find the win64shipping.exe. Click on the add button over here and if that is already added, locate it, click on the options button and then select high performance. This will help you to utilize your GPU to render this game. Simply click on save and close it. Before moving on, I want to let you guys know about a very powerful AI based voice changer called the Aesis Voice Wave where you guys can choose any AI voice. It has a ton of options like Trump, Elon Musk. You can also choose feminine voices and it can be really useful while you're playing games such as Valorant, Fortnite, CS2 where you guys can connect with your friends. Right now, I have selected Donald Trump as my voice and this is how it sounds like. <laughs> I can easily select anime girl and sound like that if I want to use it as my voice in the game. Here is how Jim Cook sounds like when using this application. It's really amazing. Also, you guys can use this customization where you guys can make a voice according to yourself, add a lot of effects and details to make it sound however you like. You guys can go check out Aesis voice wave from the link in the description below. Step number two is compatibility settings and for that head over to the same download location of your game. Head over to Fortnite game, binaries, win64 and you'll have to scroll a little bit down until you find the win64shipping.exe. You have to simply right click on that, head over to its properties, click on the compatibility tab over here and then click on disable full screen optimizations. Then click on change high dpi settings and then click on override high dpi scaling behavior. This will help you to improve your input latency. Step number three is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC. Here you have to look for a local disk C and then click on create. Simply name it Fortnite just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys to skip this step because we are going to be changing some registry files. However, it's not any kind of harm to your PC but it's always recommended that you save your restore point in case anything goes wrong. Simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the Fortnite chapter 6 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you guys can simply download it from there and you will find in six simple folders let's start with the first one that is cpu priority in which i have left amd and intel cpu priority once again if you have an amd cpu like me you have to double click and run the amd cpu priority this will be changing some registries on your pc you have to simply click on yes and then click on ok by chance if you guys want to know what these registries are changing on your pc simply edit them in notepad and you'll find a location where the changes are being done and the priority for your graphic card, priority for your CPU, SFIO priority and scheduling priority. All of them will help you to optimize the performance in your PC. Second is RAM optimization and through this we are setting up the correct RAM D values and this will help you to utilize maximum capacities of your RAM. I have a 32GB RAM registry so I need to run this one. I have left a ton of registries for you. You have to locate your memory which you can simply look it up in system information. You'll find the installed physical memory for your computer right over here. Once again, if that doesn't work out well and you're facing any kind of issues, you can always reset it back to default over here. Third folder is the Fortnite priority and this is super important where I have left above normal and high priority. 
both of these priorities are made for people with different kind of PCs. So I want you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which registry to choose from over here. Once again, if that doesn't work out well, you can use the normal priority and it will set everything back to normal. Fourth folder is PC optimization in which I have left some batch files and some registries that will help you to run some commands on your PC that you can see in the notepad and this will help you to fix some of your problems, disable some unwanted services, disable some unwanted processes in the background and this will help you to optimize your input latency and FPS. The BCD tweaks will help you to change your BCD edit where you guys can disable dynamic tick, use platform clock and set platform tick. All of these will help you to optimize your input latency. Similarly, disable large system cache file will help you to fix your CPU issues. Third one is disable memory compression. So memory compression is actually a resource consuming process running in the background and it's better you disable it because you don't use it every now and then, but it's running in the background. Fourth is disable power throttling. And as it says, it will help you to supply correct amount of power to your hardware. Next is disable process mitigation and it will help you to reduce the load on your CPU, allowing it to perform faster. Last is improve PC's responsiveness and as it says, it helps you to set up the current response time for your PC, allowing your RAM, CPU and your hardware to run properly. Next is the power plan settings in which I have left import ultimate performance power plan. You have to right click on this as administrator and this will run a command on your PC automatically that you do not have to type in manually. Head over to power plans over here and then you guys can see ultimate performance will be added to your list. If that's not available in the preferred plans, you guys can click on show additional plans and you guys can see that power plan right over here. Simply set it and now you guys can go back to the last folder that is programs in which I have left some really useful program. First one is clean temporary files dot batch you have to right click and run this as administrator this will ask you to press any key to continue you can simply press it on your keyboard and this will start deleting all temporary files from your pc these files are not required and just dump files created by the programs which are no longer in use you can safely delete them last is the msi mode utility 3.0 simply right click and run this as administrator once you guys are here you have to look for your graphic card then click on the msi button in front of it and for the interpriety set this thing to high and then click on apply this will help you to set up the correct SFIO priority for your GPU and it will also help you to improve the performance of your GPU by setting the interrupt priority to high. Once it is done, simply click on close. Next step is the best config settings and for that you have to press Windows and R key together on your keyboard and then type in app data. This will take you to this folder where you guys have to go for local and then press F on your keyboard and look for Fortnite game over here. Simply double click to open it up, head over to saved, head over to config, Windows client and then you'll find game user settings .ini. You guys need to set a few settings over here. The first one is a B motion blur. You guys have to set this thing to false. B show grass, you guys have to set this thing to false. B show FPS should be set to true. Latency tweak one should be set to true and latency flash should be set to false. You guys have to scroll a little bit down until you find B use headphone mode, set this thing to false. This consumes a lot of your CPU resources and disabling that will help you to improve the FPS. Disable mouse acceleration. You guys have to set this thing to false as well. Scroll a little bit down and you'll find allow download high res MIPS. You guys have to set this thing to false. Then you'll find something called audio quality level. You have to set this thing to zero. Then you'll find something called low input latency mode enabled. You have to set this thing to true. This is super essential. And you'll also find allow user setting low input latency mode. You have to set this thing to true as well. Now at the bottom of this, you guys will see scalability groups. You have to set your resolution quality to 100%. But if you have a super low end PC, you guys can set it to 80 or 90. This will make your game a little bit blocky, but it will also help you to improve your FPS and reduce your input lag. Then for all of these view distance quality and de-aliasing quality, for view distance quality, you can set this thing to two. But other than that, every single thing over here should be set to zero. This will help you to make your game effectless. And this is a non-bannable method. However, I have made a guide on how you guys can get Pareto graphics and it is still available on my channel. So you guys can go through the link in the description below or click on the I button on top. Then you have to come all the way down here where you'll find the D3DRHI preference. 
and over here you'll find preferred RHI you have to set this thing to DX11 make sure that if DX12 is set over here you change it to DX11 and this will take your game to performance mode after that simply press Ctrl and S key together to save these settings on your PC and then close it next step is using a no ping to fix all of your internet issues ping issues packet loss and a lot more you guys can download this from the link in the description below once you download this application you will see an interface like this where you guys can find thousands of games simply look up for Fortnite over here and then click on select the server no ping offers you to look for the server which offers you the lowest amount of ping for me it will be Bahrain 01 as it is giving me about 48 milliseconds of ping as soon as I click on optimize this game this will start one click optimizing my game no ping exactly works as a VPN which allows your PC to connect through the game servers without any hindrance this reduces any kind of hindrances that might be affecting your packet loss or ping spikes and it helps you to ultimately fix them the best part about no ping is the settings gear over here which offers you turbo games if you enable that it will help you to improve your keyboard function and response time and the boost fps section wherein if you enable these settings you guys can improve your fps by a ton i use no ping for myself and i have seen the difference and that is why i am telling you guys to try using it and seeing the difference for yourself i'll be leaving a link to no ping down in the description below you guys can go and check it out now once everything is set you have to open up your epic games launcher over here head over to your library where you have installed fortnite right click on your game and then head over to manage you'll find launch options over here simply enable them and type in hyphen land play hyphen no splash hyphen use all available scores this will help you to use the maximum potential of your CPU and also help you to improve your internet connection for your game. Once that is done, simply close it and now you guys can drop into the game. And for the in-game settings, I would recommend you guys to go for the frame rate limit to unlimited rendering mode to lower graphical fidelity. And you guys can go down, view distance can be far, textures and meshes should be low. Other than that, enable show fps and that is it you guys can now drop into the game so guys that is it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button it really helps me grow the channel we are really close to 205,000 subscribers and i really appreciate your support we'll see you all in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out